This model illustrates how to find the solution of a quadratic polynomial or quadratic equation by splitting middle terms. So right now 4x square plus 5x plus 1 is our quadratic polynomial. We can find the solutions to this polynomial or zeros of, the, uh, zeros of polynomial by splitting middle terms. So here 5x is the middle term. We are trying to split in this 5x. So we need to find out two numbers so that the sum of that two numbers will be the middle term co coefficient of the middle term that is 5 and the multiplication should be 1 into 4 that is coefficient of x square and the constant term. So here we were able to find p plus q equal to 5 p into q equal to 4 which is nothing but p equal to 1 q equal to 4 satisfies these two uh, the two constraints. So now if 5 can be written as 1 plus 4 then you can split this one. Next step you can split the you can pull that x out and then finally you can take x plus 1 outside of these two terms so that we end, ends up we end up in 4x square plus 5x plus 1 equal to x plus 1 into 4x plus 1. So now we can play around this model by changing these values. We can change by sliding this. So you can move this value. So this is this particular function is not factorizable. That's why it says. So you can bring some change to another value by sliding this bar or you can change this value here. For example, I make it 2. And I'm going to make, keep it 1. Yeah, so now this is factorizable. So this is x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to x plus 1 square. Despite splitting the middle term. So we are able to factorize it. Uh, this given equation or quadratic polynomial x square plus 2x plus 1. So play around this model and change by changing this value and understand how to factorize the quadratic polynomial by splitting middle terms.